done. So I have just been busy this morning filming some content. I just filmed last Thursday's video. Um, and I've also been doing some sponsored content. I'm just about to head out into town. I'm gonna have a walk. We can actually walk, I think it's like a 15 minute walk into our nearest town. So I'm gonna have a little wander in. I haven't done this walk before. So oh, I think it'll be quite easy, it's just straight. So I'm gonna pop my headphones in, listen to a podcast and have a wander in. I just got my Givenchy bag out for the first time in months. Um, I've been using my Sacre Jour every day because it's just like my favorite everyday bag. But I like using this sometimes, just to mix it up. And yeah, also I often get asked when I wear black with this white bag, it's got no transfer at all. So yeah, it does need a clean though because the handles are a little bit grubby. So I need to take it in to get it cleaned. But yeah, I think that's it. I've got my mask, I've got my money, I need to get my headphones and I'm gonna head out for a little stroll. If I see anything interesting, I will vlog. Um, but if not, I'll catch up with you when I'm back. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have a little wander, have a look in a couple of shops. I just haven't really left the house since Sunday, so I feel like I need to. home now oh, I'm boiling oh let me close that cupboard we've literally been here a few days and that's already a junk cupboard um I'm back home that was so nice I'm so glad I went out do you know what sometimes when I'm in new places I I used to get this horrible like anxiety where I just would be so scared to do anything on my own and I get really worried that it's going to come back and that I'm going to start feeling like that again so I'm really proud, it, it might sound stupid, but I literally was so scared to do anything on my own when I was young. So I'm so proud that I've just walked into like a new town, I didn't know the way, figured it out, like gone and got my nails done. I know that's so small, but if anyone out there understands what I mean about like that anxiety feeling, then yeah, I feel like you'll get it. But anyway, I got my nails done, I'm so pleased. I did film a tiny clip so you would have seen. But um, I had an appointment booked, my lips are so dry. I had an appointment booked for next Monday, which I booked last night, but I really need to get my nails done before Thursday because I've got a really big shoot day in London and I need my nails done for the shoot. So um, yeah, I'm really pleased. I literally just walked past this place and asked if they had any appointments and she fit me in, so brilliant. 38 pounds and I had um, they didn't do gel extensions, which is what I usually get. Um, so she put like a tip, like a plastic tip on there. Um, and then secured it with like a powder. It's called s, &S I think, dipping powder. Um, but they still look the same, really natural. I actually got them a bit shorter than I usually do because they just grow out so fast. And yeah, I'm really pleased with them. The only thing I'm not that keen on is they are quite thick and that's where I like the gel extensions because they go really thin um, but oh well I've got them done now the place that I was going to book for Monday do gel extensions so in a month next time I go I will go there instead and see what they're like but I'm pleased either way so I'm back home now I just went to Waitrose um, yesterday Jack asked me to get some yogurts so I've got him some. These are his favourite yogurts. I can't eat them. I used to eat them when I ate dairy, but now I don't, so I can't eat them. But honestly, if you eat dairy, you must try these. So these are his favourite ones. They're skier. They're called like icy or issy skier yogurts, and he likes the vanilla ones, but he also likes blueberry. But vanilla are so nice. So I got him those, and they've got 16 grams of protein in. Insane. So yeah, I am gonna make some lunch. I'm really thirsty, I need to drink some water. Catch up on a bit of work, tidy up from filming earlier because I haven't done that yet. Give the house a bit of a spruce up and then um, I've got my call with my manager and then I'm gonna have a bath like early afternoon. I'm gonna have a bath, do my fake tan, put some like pajamas on or something and then Grace is gonna come over for dinner at like six. So I wanna have dinner all made and stuff. 
And I think Jack's out tonight at the pub, so he won't be back till later. And he can eat his dinner when he gets in. So yeah, that's my plan for the afternoon. It's 10 to 6. I'm just waiting for Grace to come over for dinner tonight. I'm going to have a little girl's night. Jack's at the pub. Um, so he's going to have his dinner later on. And I'm going to cook dinner for me and Grace as well. Um, I'm just waiting for her to get here. Uh, I've just been finishing off work. Look at the state of my desk literally <laughs> all this mess um i'm really enjoying using this little corner as a desk so i think we might keep the computer here uh it just feels quite social and i mean i'm the only one here in the day so i don't really want to be locked in like a bedroom i might as well be in here i just need to get some sort of like high stool because i just stand here and it really hurts my knees um but i'm just about to put on some pasta I'm gonna make my pesto pasta, chicken pesto pasta bake. It's like Jack's favorite thing that I make. Um, so I'm gonna start making that. I've never really used like an electric um, hob before, so it takes a lot of getting used to, because it doesn't make any noise. It's very strange. Um, I'm really enjoying using all of our new utensils. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop the pasta on and then Pour me and Grace a glass of wine. I'm loving this like hosting life. I just, I feel like I was born to host. Today is Wednesday. Finally, we are in the middle of the week. I feel like this week is just going so slowly. Um, today is a bit of a boring day for me. I haven't got loads on, but I need to do my taxes. I've recently just got a new accountant, seeing as my business is growing a little bit. And um, I basically just have to do my self-assessment with him and um, do all my expenses and stuff. And usually I'm quite organized and I do this throughout the year, but this year I just haven't. So I've got a lot to do. So that's my plan for the day. I've got up, washed my hair, I've got ready. It's a gorgeous day outside. It's so sunny. Look, beautiful. And I've popped on this outfit. I'll show you what I'm wearing. This is what I'm wearing today. This set is from Fourth and Reckless. Um, it's just this like police shirt and trousers, little set, basically like pajamas, but a little bit more put together. So nice and comfy. I can't get my laptop to connect to my personal hotspot and we still don't have Wi-Fi. So that's really annoying. Um, so I'm gonna have to stand up and do this all day. But yeah, I'll update you when I do something interesting today. So Thursday morning, I went into London. I actually didn't really vlog much today, so I thought I'd just do a quick voiceover. I went into London with my mum to film some projects. I was working on something with LMS and Harrods, which is already live over on my Instagram. So head over and have a look. Really fun day, really lovely, such gorgeous weather and got some really great content. Good morning everyone, today is Friday and I'm just doing my makeup to get ready for the day. I'm so glad it's Friday and finally the weekend, oh my god. This week has been the longest week, I think because we um, were moving on Saturday and Sunday, it didn't really feel like we had a weekend, it didn't feel like we had a proper rest and like a break and stuff. So yeah i'm very grateful that it's the weekend now but i'm very aware that i haven't really vlogged much this week so i thought i would um just come on and do a little bit of an update on what's been going on this week so wednesday was a very boring day i literally spent the whole day doing my um self-assessment my taxes and my expenses and everything it took so long because i'm just working from my hotspot still we haven't got our wi-fi um so yeah that took a long time that was wednesday then on thursday i actually went into london uh to go to harrods because i was working with lms 
and Harrods on a very exciting job. So cool. What an amazing way to start the year. That was probably my first um, proper like shoot of the year and what a good one to start on. So I was very pleased with that. Uh, I also shot some new Instagram content, just some new outfit photos that I've been wanting to do for ages. So very pleased to be like back in the work swing. Um, I'm just going to do my mascara while I talk to you. Um, and then, yeah, just came back home last night. We I made some pasta and then we watched Dragon's Den and The Apprentice, which was fab. If, is anyone else watching both of those shows? I love them. And Stephen Bartlett is an absolute... I'm actually watching him now. I watch all of his YouTube videos all the time. I just always have him on in the background. Currently watching Patricia Bright. Um, he is just an absolute savage and I think he's great. I feel like Dragon's Den really needed somebody like him on there. Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday and Jack has had to go to work this morning. Um, you'll realize that he is literally so busy at work. Um, so yeah, he spends his life at work. He hasn't even seen the flat really in the light. He's only seen it once, <laughs> which is the day that we moved in. So yeah. Hopefully, he won't be too long today. So, I've been doing some house bits and bobs. I woke up, washed my hair, and got ready. I've just popped on these little shorts from No Bra Clique. I keep wearing them because they're just so comfy, and it's so warm in here, so it's nice to be able to wear shorts. We had a couple of deliveries yesterday, so I thought I would show you what I'm doing this morning. So, this cupboard by the door is a bit of a storage cupboard, which is so useful. It's so big, it's quite dark in here, we need to get some lights fitted. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely huge. You can see it goes all the way up to the top and all the way down. It's really, really big, there's so much space in here. So at the minute, I've just been storing my yoga mat, my books, and I've also been storing all of my um, extra beauty products and like new NPR and stuff like that. So, we actually bought this clothing rail from Amazon, which I'll link below. It's really nice, super easy to put together. It's just like a creamy colour, which I really like. I thought it was going to be a bit taller than this, but it's fine. Um, so, it's quite handy because it's got these little shelves on the bottom as well. So, I'm going to basically move all of our coats into here. At the minute, our coats are in this cupboard in our, like, spare room office. I want to clear this cupboard because we're getting our washing machine fitted next week um, and this is going to be like the laundry cupboard so I want to get all of this out and oh my phone's ringing who is this mom hello oh hello I was just about to hang up Right, sorry about that. Uh, my mum just rang me. So, this is how the coats are looking in the cupboard now. I just wanted this to be, like, the coat cupboard so I could grab a coat before I go out. Jack's coats are here. I need to add the rest of his, but to be honest, mine are taking up so much room. Um, and then we've also got some shelves under here. This is just all my beauty products, so it's, like, just basically everything. I've got, like, face masks, I've got extra skincare bits, hair products, like just everything. We've got spare mouthwash, everything that I've got, like um, beauty wise, I've got in this box, but I'm getting some drawers. I think they've actually already arrived at Jack's house, his at Jack's mum and dad's house. So um, I'm gonna put all of this in those drawers so that won't be there anymore. And then we can just put our shoes down here as well, which will be very handy. So yeah, I'm very happy about this. I'm wondering if I can see if we could get a shelf put up there so that I can use that for extra storage because that would be very handy because it's just a lot of dead space up there. But yeah, I'm really happy with this storage. That's fab. Oh my God. Okay, we just had a very exciting delivery. Um, it's been a bit stressful trying to get things delivered because um, 
our postcode. We kept getting different postcodes from the council, Royal Mail, the estate agent, like everyone's given us a different postcode. So I've been trying them all and loads of them aren't working. Um, but I just ordered these curtains from Ikea this week and I put the postcode that we thought it was and they just turned up. So I'm very happy about that because it means that I can actually order stuff now um, and I don't have to get it delivered to like my mum's house, Jack's mum's house, Jack's work. We can just get it delivered here and it's easy. So, these are our new curtains. You'll see behind, I've got dark grey curtains in here, which um, Mike the landlord put in here, which they are great. They're perfectly fine. It's just the colour I'm not keen on. I want this space to feel really light and airy. And so, I have got two types of curtains. Um, we needed to get curtains for in here, the two windows, and also the bedroom and the office guest room as well. So I've got two different types because the ones that are currently on the windows, oh, that is so cold. The, one, the ones that are currently on the windows are from Ikea. They've got a product code on them. So I searched them because we really like them and the length of them is perfect. They're really thick, but they're blackout, which I'm not keen on because you can't just shut the curtain if it's a bit bright and they still let light in. Um, and we don't need blackout curtains in here. So I've got a couple of different types of curtains uh, some for the bedroom and some for in here. The ones for in here are like light blocking, I think. So they're not blackout, but they do block the light, but they let a little bit in. Um, and that is the Hannah Lil curtains. These are how they are looking. So gorgeous. I cannot wait to get these up. Um, they're just a really light linen vibe. Uh, I'll link these below actually. And then the ones for the bedroom, I wanted something a little bit more thick and like hotel, you know, like a thick, heavy linen curtain. Um, I don't know if I'm keen on these just by looking at them because they've got a bit of a stripe to them. But, um, so I'm thinking these ones, which are called Hannah Lil, are the like linen, um, the ones that let a little bit of light through because they're quite thin. And we basically got the same curtains as these uh, because these are blackout for the bedroom, but a different colour. So I'm going to try and take down these curtains and put these ones up instead and then give them a bit of a steam because they are so creased. I actually bought four pairs. I actually bought two sets of curtains, so they come in a pack of two. So I bought two packets. So I can put two curtains either side. Because they're quite thin, I think you need, and this window is really big, you need to have um, two each side so they look nice and thick and a little bit more luxurious. I don't actually know if I like these at all. Oh dear. They look a bit like... I don't even know if it looks right on camera, but they look quite lilac. Like pink compared to that cream blanket. Oh, that's so annoying. I don't like them at all. Hmm. Let me get the other ones out and see what if these are any better. Okay, these are the curtains in the bedroom. I'm really, really happy with these. I think they look exactly how I wanted to and they actually match the lampshade so well. I don't know if it's coming up properly on camera, but um, yeah, these are really lovely. Considering these are just from Ikea, they're really cheap. Um, I think they look really, really nice. They've got like a white fleck to them as well which is really lovely these are um 
curtains that do let the light through a little bit which I really like because it doesn't make the rooms feel like pitch black there is a little bit of light coming through which I always really prefer in a bedroom I just think these look great I really love them it's Monday today and something's wrong with my ears today I feel like I'm talking underwater sounds so strange so I hope I'm not shouting <laughs> Um, but I have just been editing the vlog and it's a bit all over the place if I'm honest. I don't really know what I filmed this week. Um, it's been a bit of a strange week. It was the first proper week in the flat working, balancing like all the work stuff, all the house stuff and, um, yeah, just getting used to it really. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna sign it off now, um... I know it's a little bit all over the place. It hasn't really got much structure to it. So I do apologize about that. And hopefully the weekly vlogs will get a little bit more structured as I get more settled in. But this week is a really good one. I've got loads going on. So make sure you stay tuned for next week's video. Thank you so much for watching as always. Please make sure you're subscribed. I'm nearly at 2000 subscribers, which is really tiny, but also so exciting. So I would appreciate it so much if you did subscribe. And yeah, I'll chat to you in the comments. So do leave a comment below and I will get back to you. And I'll see you in my next video.